Got another question on the acids, bases and pH topic, so up to number 8. If you want to try this first, the link to the questions in the description of the video. Okay, so we've got the same concentrations of hydrochloric acid and chloric 1 acid, and we've got to explain why they've got um, different pH values, and we've got to calculate the different pH values. So I'm starting my answer off saying what the difference is between the two acids. So HCl is a strong acid, it's fully dissociated, backing that up with this equation here. So remember we use that type of arrow for full dissociation. HClO is a weak acid. How do I know that? Well, it gave me the pKa value. It's obviously a clue that it's weak. It's partially dissociated, so it'll dissociate like that. We use reversible arrows, remember, for weak acids. So because of that, the pH values are different because they have different H plus concentrations. So the HCl would have the H plus concentration of 0.14 due to the complete dissociation, whereas HClO is going to be less than 0.14. So the pH of HCl is just going to be the minus log of 0.14, so the two decimal places, that's 0.85. So to get the pH of HClO, we need to calculate its H plus concentration first, using this expression here, square root of Kaha, is what I call it. So that's the square root of the Ka times the original concentration of the acid. Haven't given us Ka, but they've given us pKa, so that would be 10 to the minus pKa to turn it into Ka multiplied by the original concentration, which was 0.14, then you get this 7.21 times 10 to the minus 5 moles per decimeter cubed. So you can see how much different the H plus concentration is for the weak acid compared to the, um, the strong HCl. So when you minus log that H plus concentration, you get 4.14 for the pH of HClO to two decimal places. Couple of equations to write now, so full and ionic equations for the reaction between aluminium powder and aqueous ethanoic acid. So in effect we've got acid plus metal makes salt and hydrogen. So there's the equation there, so just be careful you get the formula of the salt right. Remember aluminium forms a 3 plus ion, the ethanoic ion will just be 1 minus, so that's why it balances like that. You could also double this out, so you could have 6, 2, 2, 3 but I've just gone for the, that version there. Ionic equation now, so if we talk about um, what's going to cancel, so you've got three aqueous ethanoic ions left and right, so they'll cancel. Three H plus ions don't cancel. Obviously, aluminium solids go into aluminium aqueous, aluminium three plus aqueous, sorry, so they're not going to cancel. And your three over two H2 gas needs to stay in as well. Okay, so last part, we've got to calculate the pH of this concentration of sodium hydroxide solution. So I've just written up the dissociation equation for that. It's a strong alkali, so it fully dissociates. Um, this is 0.4 moles per decimeter cubed, and from the dissociation, you can see that the concentration of which minus ions will also be 0.4 moles per decimeter cubed. So to calculate the pH of a strong alkali, we use the KW expression rearranged to get the H plus concentration and then minus log. Now, annoyingly, they haven't quoted the temperature here, so I'm just going to assume that it's 25 degrees C. So I'll just go through the numbers now. So obviously the rearranged KW expression, making H plus concentration in the subject looks like that. So KW, 1 times 10 to the minus 14, we're assuming it's 25 degrees C. The OH minus concentration is 0.4. So that gives us an H plus concentration of that. Minus log that, we get a pH of 13.60.